Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. If my voice sounds off, it's because I'm feeling a bit under the weather right now, but that's okay. I love making videos for everybody, so let's carry on with the show, shall we? In today's video, we find ourselves in Hillsborough County, Florida, with Ass Elmo as he attempts to audit the local health department, but doesn't get what he wants and ends up taking a massive walk of shame. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, folks? Auditing America, Mr. America here. We're doing a First Amendment audit at the Florida Department of Health in Hillsborough County. We're in Tampa. We're gonna see if they respect our rights. Not an entrance. No cameras. Is that like a law? Yeah, asked Elmo. It's pretty much a law. It's called HIPAA. And it protects the information of patients and everything like that. And you're about to find out the hard way because, well, you're going to be denied anyway. And you're going to take the walk of shame. So good luck with that, dude. Have fun. A little longer than a few minutes later. Here we go. Can you help? No, I'm just working on a video. Oh, um, you can take videos here. Why not? Because we can't. Is that like a law? Yes. You okay. can't take videos for us. Could you bring it? Could you bring? Could you bring me the law in writing so I could take it home with me? Yeah, but you can take a video for us, okay? Is you can it, record us. Yes, I can. Thank it's you. a public place. You're welcome. It's a public place. Ask Elmo, why don't you try actually doing a little bit of research on the laws of the state in which you reside? Because Florida does have a law regarding patients' rights, and one of those rights is the right to privacy. But the healthcare provider must be able to help out with that right and in this case it's gonna kick your sorry ass out the door and before you complain about it violating your constitutional rights to the first amendment let me tell you something dude the tenth amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the constitution and patients rights are not exactly covered in the constitution so therefore florida has the complete right to create those laws so Go shove it up your ass, ass Elmo. Rude bitch. Don't you dare. Can't be recorded in here. Why not? What law is that? Is it a law? It's not a law, but we did. Oh, okay, so just that's fine. Just yeah, but don't. Definitely, but you definitely cannot go inside the clinic at all. Okay. Have I been in there? No, so I'm, I'm just giving, uh, you, okay. giving an update. Let you know. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not breaking the law, and I'm in a public building. So why is everybody telling me like? Well, why? Just, we, we have a sign. We have a sign posted here about recording, and that's well, why sometimes we have patients to sit out in our lobby area, and they get very, very squeamish with having folks in here with the sensitive services that we provide. So you guys just take people's rights away because of pe sensitive people. No, we don't. We don't do taking our rights away. We actually we just comply with the HIPAA law. So that's what I'm saying. HIPAA. HIPAA. Yes. Okay. Well, you can be nicer about it. You see, she's very rude. She's got a sarcastic way of telling people oh. things. Yes, she did. You oh, just did close. You oh, shut your damn mouth, you whiny snowflake. She wasn't rude to you at all. She was kind and courteous and let you know that you couldn't record in there. Most people would be grateful and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that, and just walk away and be about their business. But you, you just gotta poke and poke and poke, and that's what you're all about. Poke and poke and poke until you get those reactions. And you know what? You're an asshole about it. So go Go kick rocks. Did you want to out of the clinic? Yeah, actually we have thousands of people watching right now, yes. so be, everybody saw you being rude. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, 
Well, it's all about being nice and courteous to, to each other. If people like me don't walk in here doing these type of videos, people like him, like her, like the janitor lady, everybody that told me that I couldn't be filming, then it'll become a law. Okay. That's why I say, it's like, is that like a law? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. And, and you know, we're just bringing awareness on our freedoms okay. here. As long as I don't interfere with your right. services here, everything's, everything's cool. Right. Are you the supervisor here? I am, yes, sir. What's your name? Mike Wagner, nice to meet you. Mike, I'm Enrique. Okay, Enrique, we, we, are you with a certain pro- uh, we're, we're Auditing America. We have oh, okay. we have 100 million views on the internet. Wow. So with just an iPhone. So you can, you can, you can just imagine <laughs> right. the situations that we've been through just because of a camera. Right. So I never, my, my intention is never to break the law or interfere with any of the business, like oh, I shit. said. Oh, you never broken the laws. So those uh, kidnapping charges you were convicted on years ago were fraudulent, were they? Uh, what about all the other laws that you've broken since then and are going to break in the future? Are all those fraudulent too, or do you not can then do not consider them laws or what? I mean, speak to us. Let us know what you think is actually a law, because it doesn't seem to be very much in your opinion. But your opinion matters about as much as a hole in the ground. Uh, I'm just documenting my visit. I knew I was driving by and I was like, oh, <laughs> I know I'm going to have a problem here. Well, I hope that's a, I mean, so, again, I think that's if you knew you were going to have a problem with filming in here before you even stepped foot inside the building, then why the hell did you even get out of your car to begin with? Oh, wait, you did it for the clicks and views and the opportunity to step on other people's rights while complaining that yours are being taken away. I guess that uh, narrows it down as to why you did that to begin with. So let's carry on, shall we? New, you have new staff that are assigned here. Again, they don't really know some of the, the, the laws. Of the I understand that. That's why someone like me can come in to hopefully make, it a, make some rhyme out of the reason. Going. Well, that's why you're the manager, All Mike. Right, sir, take care, it. brother. Take care. You take care. There we go to protect. It's not a lot of side of all. Nobody was going to attack me. No está permitido. You don't tell me what to do. You're not gonna come record. I do tell you what you're not gonna. No, you don't tell me what. To, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You don't know exactly. Don't talk to me. You don't know me. No, you're, you don't need to talk to me. You don't need to talk to me. No, you can't. But yo, so come up, come outside. What you wanna do? Come outside. Come outside. Oh, you're a big tough guy messing with the employees who would lose their jobs if they got into a confrontation with you. But the moment the uh, police come by with handcuffs, you turn into a sobbing little punk. You know what that makes you? That makes you a bully. And you want to know what the secret is about uh, bullies? All you have to do is stand up to them and they generally back off. I mean, I've had to deal with my share of them. And if you just stand up to them, and, but don't even bother to hit them, they'll generally back off. I'm stay here, brother. Nah. You should become a cop. You do a good job at that. Yeah. Little snitch. Do your friends know you're a snitch? Do your friends know you're a snitch? You feel good about that? Yeah? Awesome, awesome. You should worry more about yourself. No, you don't know what I'm doing, bro. 
I walked in and do I do I tell you something? I'm working on a video, bro. There's thousands of people watching you. Yeah, yeah. You know what happened? Do you know what happens when 20, 30 people call and complain on you? Yeah. Do you know what happens? Take a wild guess. See what I mean by uh, bullying? He's using a bullying tactic to try to get this guy to fall in line with his viewpoints. So you know what? I think Asamo would definitely fold like an accordion if he was in an actual fight because I don't think he's built for it. They haven't yet. So don't be rude. There you go. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. He's, he, uh, what if I play my video right now and you catch him lying? Yeah, I guess so. So you see what I'm saying? I understand, but he, he said, he said, you're lucky that I'm here working. No, no, Asamo. I just went over that entire conversation again, and he never said that. The camera doesn't lie, but you sure as hell lie your ass off, dude. And I said, well, let's come outside. Yes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What is that supposed to be like a threat or something? I I, you see, I can't I can't put any intent to what he's trying to suggest. That's to why you. that's why my uh, and you you you're a, you're a very nice guy, brother. I can tell. Mm -hmm. I can, I read people pretty good. There's no reason for for that. You see, like when you walk up with with a camera, you get people's true colors. It's, well, and I think it spooks <laughs> people out, certainly. I mean, and I, and I understand sometimes it's gonna you know make people wonder like what the heck is this guy doing. Right. But if you work for the government, it means that you've never been in trouble, that you have a clean record for the most part, and people, people are, are are willing to throw all that away, a lifetime of a clean record, just to interfere and be disorderly and make threats. Yeah, yeah, Selmo, you've got to have a clean record pretty much to uh, work for the government. Are you jealous of that? Is it that you always wanted to work for the government, but all your past criminal record issues just won't allow you to do that? So you just got to go into government offices and uh, annoy people to the point of breaking so you can get them uh, fired and everything like that. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it's got to be because you quite often do this and you mention this often enough where I think, yeah, you wanted to be a federal government employee or a state government employee, but, well, you just don't have the moral fortitude to do it. I'm not here to snitch or tell, or tell anybody or get anybody arrested, but everybody wants me in a cage. You see what I'm saying? How many people say, hey, if you would have been aware, you would have called the cops. They would have came here looking for a camera guy. Now we got guys with guns in the building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So the whole thing of my my channel is what you just what you just did is excellent because if you want privacy, you need to create it. So that's what that's what we say. If, and you may want to keep an eye on him because he's rude. And I, I, I will. I, I kind of agree with everyone. <laughs> Hey, you can't expect to receive respect if you don't give it first. Take care, brother. All right. All right. Well, Asamo didn't exactly get what he wants, so he's going to have to take the major walk of shame at this point. So roll that beautiful bean footage and the appropriate music with that. Money outside. I knew this was going to happen here. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. Uh, Elmo certainly didn't know what the, what the hell he was getting into at this point. He even had that feeling that maybe he shouldn't walk in here. Well, maybe he should have listened to his uh, feelings at that particular time, and maybe he would have been spared this humiliation. But at any rate, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.